So let's take a look at the new dynamic delay in the 11 rack expansion pack. So here's the new dynamic delay that is included with the 11 rack expansion pack. And let's just read some of the details from the PDF file that comes with the 11 rack expansion pack. Dynamic delay. This stereo delay effect is based on the Air Dynamic Delay plugin that comes with Avid's Pro Tools recording software. A powerful effect, dynamic delay can be synchronized to rig or session tempo and offers an envelope follower that lets you modulate various parameters based on the amplitude envelope of incoming signal. This effect includes the following controls. We have delay, which is right here, sets the length of the delay in milliseconds, sync, which will control the synchronization of the delay time to rig or session tempo, ranges from off to a variety of rhythmic note variations. We have feedback, which sets the amount of delay feedback, ranges from just one repeat to a long lasting cascade of repeats. Mix knob, which sets the wet dry balance of the effect. You have your feedback mode, which you have mono, which will sum the incoming stereo signal to mono, then offers separate left and right delay output taps from that signal. Then you have stereo, which will process the left and right channels of the incoming stereo signal independently and outputs the processed signal on the corresponding left and right channels. Then you have cross, which will process the left and right channels of the incoming stereo signal independently and feeds each side's delayed signal back to the opposite channel. Then you have Pong, which acts much like cross, but the incoming left and right signals are summed and output from the left channel only. Due to the cross channel feedback, the signal moves back and forth across the stereo spectrum. Then we have Ratio, which will set the ratio of left and right delay times move the control all the way down and the left channel delay time is half the right channel delay time move the control all the way up and the right channel delay time is half the left channel delay time we have high cut which adjusts the frequency for the high cut filter for less treble lower the frequency low cut will adjust the frequency for the low cut filter for less bass raise the frequency I have the width knob lets you adjust the width of the delay effect in the stereo field. We have the EM rate, which is right here. That sets how quickly the feedback and mix parameters respond to input from the envelope follower. You have your EM feedback, sets how much the envelope follower affects the feedback amount, and your EM mix sets how much the envelope follower affects the wet dry mix. So now that we got all that boring stuff out of the way, let's actually look at some tips that will help you understand this delay a little bit better and how it works. Now as mentioned in the 11 rack expansion pack PDF file, this dynamic delay is based on the Air dynamic delay plugin which comes with Pro Tools and if you have an 11 rack then you should have Pro Tools. Now I'm on Pro Tools 9, but the Air plugins are also included with Pro Tools 8. And Pro Tools 8 is what currently is shipping with the 11 rack. Now you might ask, well, that's all well and good, but how is the Air dynamic delay going to help me with this dynamic delay? And the simple answer is presets. You notice in this delay that comes with the 11 rack expansion pack, there's no presets here. And this is where the air dynamic delay comes in very, very handy for helping to understand the settings you should use on this delay to get the desired effect that you want. So to open the air dynamic delay, we'll go up to one of our inserts. Now I'm on a stereo channel, so I'll choose multi-channel plugin. And you can come up here to delay if you have the category view enabled. It will be under delay and air dynamic delay. If you have manufacturer view enabled, you come down to digi design and air dynamic delay. Now if you want to see which view you have enabled or would like to enable both like I have, you just come up here to setup, preferences. 
which will open this window on the display tab right down here you'll see organize plugin menus by and I have select category and manufacturer default is category but you can choose flat list category just manufacturer or category and manufacturer which is what I have selected so we'll come back to our inserts multi-channel plugin go to uh, delay and open the air dynamic delay so you'll notice right off the bat these interfaces are extremely similar mix knob your feedback mode it's pretty much the same except in the 11 rack expansion pack we have pong mode which there is no pong mode on the air dynamic delay stereo width left right ratio low cut high cut your envelope mod rates here feedback sync is a little bit different you have a sync button on the air version and in the 11 rack version you would use your sync here by choosing your note values of course on the 11 rack we have the on off button here or here or on the 11 rack itself and then the plugin you would just bypass it or you could deactivate it or just take it off the channel so back to the premise of this video which is trying to understand how to use the dynamic delay in the ERXP. Well, the presets in the air dynamic delay are very well done. In fact, almost all manufacturers have very, very well done presets for all of their plugins. I highly suggest you always check out the presets and select a preset that describes the tone you're trying to get for whatever plugin you may be using. Now, in my opinion, guitar modelers and base modelers are a little bit different. I don't use presets that come preloaded on guitar modelers because the variations of guitars used playing style in my opinion you can always get better results by setting up your own presets but presets in the guitar modelers such as the 11 rack can always be a good starting point. So back to the air dynamic delay. If we go right here to where it says factory default, notice we have 15 presets. And these are what come pre-installed with Pro Tools. You notice there's a lot of good ones. There's only while loud, only while silent. You have chaos after loud, uh, ducking delay, which is what a lot of people want. So then you ask, well, how is this going to help me? Well, it's, it's really very easy. Say you only want the delay to sound only while silent. So we'll just choose only while silent. And you'll notice that the air dynamic delay interface has changed. And all these parameters have been set according to the preset. And then it's just as simple as copying the settings you see here, right here. So we can go to feedback. We'd set that to about 97%. 95, that's close enough. Sync, that's something you may want to mess with a little bit. Just make sure you get the other settings uh, extremely close. Your left right ratio we got 96 percent. Stereo width is 32. Just copy that it's close enough. Low cut is 1 kilohertz. High cut is 7.4. That's close enough. Rate is 288 milliseconds for the envelope. 281 that's close enough. Feedback is minus 56 and mix is minus 100. So right there we've already set up a only while silent delay in the 11 rack and you can save this preset by clicking this down arrow and choosing save settings. Now if you're familiar with Pro Tools you know that you can import plugin settings and you may say well why don't you just import the dynamic delay setting from the air version into the ERXP version and that's a great question. So if we were going to import, we click this down arrow and go to import settings. I'm on Windows 7, so it'll bring up this window. We'll go to computer, local disk C, program files x86, because I am on a 64-bit OS. If you're on a 32-bit OS, then you will just choose program files. There won't even be an x86 option. But since I'm on 64-bit, I choose program files x86, common files, Digidesign, DAE, and plugin settings. 
And here are all our folders of plugin settings for the Air plugins. Now you may notice that the dynamic delay is not listed under Air for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it's actually listed down here under just dynamic delay. And right here you'll see all of our settings that we see in this window. Now remember, we're importing a setting into the 11 rack expansion pack dynamic delay. So say we want the only while silent. Choose that and we'll hit open. But this window comes up. The selected file is not a valid setting for the plugin you chose. So we can't import that setting. But it's not really that hard to just recreate these settings side by side. And then when you create your setting, I'd suggest, of course, playing through the 11 rack and making sure you like the setting before you go and save it. So let's do one more. We'll set this back to factory default. And what about a ducking delay? Well, we already have a ducking delay setting on the air version of the dynamic delay, so we'll just choose that. Here's our settings that we want to try to emulate over here. I'll turn this sync off. I'll set this about 500 milliseconds. Close enough. Feedback is 50. Mix is about 30. Envelope mix is minus 100. Feedback is minus 50 percent. Rate is 100 milliseconds. Uh, low cut and high cut are fine. Left right ratio would be 50 to 100 there, and stereo width is 100. Uh, feedback mode is on mono. So right there, we already have our ducking delay created. And of course, we play through this a little bit, make sure we like this setting. And we may want to tweak it to our liking. And when you get that done, I suggest saving this setting so you can always recall a ducking delay later on. Now, let me call your attention quickly here to the plugin settings. Now, this is the same folder we were in before local disk, x86, common files, digidesign, DAA plugin settings. You see we have 11, that's for the software version that I have, 11 free, 11 rig, this is where your rigs are usually stored unless you save them to a different file. You'll notice there's nothing here about a dynamic delay or a chorus or a reverb or whatever. So if we come here, and this is our duct delay setting that we just created for the 11 rack, we'll come here and we'll go to save settings. Now as soon as I do save settings, you'll notice C, Program Files, Common Files, uh, Digidesign DAA Plugin Settings, which is the folder we were looking at just a minute ago. Now we have a new folder, 11 Dynamic Delay. And you can see that here as well. You can see this folder was all of a sudden created. So the folder gets created automatically. We come here and we name this Ducking Delay and hit Save. Now you'll notice right here under effects presets it says ducking delay. So we can choose our ducking delay and then we have factory. And of course you can save all kinds of different presets for each of your different effects. Once you have them saved they're very easy to recall. So if we were going to go to a chaos after loud setting and say okay we got the delay at about 66 milliseconds. So we'll pull that way down. That's close enough. Feedback's 100%. Envelope rate is about 72. That's minus 100, minus 100. Mix is 50. Close enough. We got cross. Stereo width is 100. 50 to 1. Uh, low cut, high cut. That looks about right. And then we just go here and we choose save setting as. If we choose save setting right now, we will overwrite our ducking delay setting, which we do not want to do. If we were on factory default, then we could come here and just choose save settings. And then we would name it Chaos After Loud. We'd save that. So now you see we have two different settings in here, plus the factory default, which is right there.
So just be sure to always go to save setting as if you're on anything other than factory default because you don't want to overwrite your uh, setting that you've chosen, which I'll show you. If I were to change this, pull the delay way up, it makes all the way up and the feedback all the way up, and I just went here and click save settings. Well now, factory default, chaos, you see how that affected the preset we had selected. So be sure to use save setting as if you currently have a preset selected. Now to kind of hear the different presets and how they work, I suggest that you turn off all your effects, or at least most of them. You could leave like distortion and your uh, EQs on, but definitely turn off reverb, definitely turn off delay, and I'd probably turn off any mod setting as well. And just record a short little track with the 11 rack with just the amp, record it to a track, and then open up your air dynamic delay set a nice small loop maybe 20 30 seconds and just go into the loop playback and just and loop play the thing while you're going through and changing the settings while it's playing so you can hear how each different setting actually sounds and then when you find something you like you can always tweak it a bit and just compare with the delay in the 11 rack and you know kinda emulate the settings and then save your effect preset on the 11 rack and you'll have it there ready to go next time you need it so definitely record a short little track with your 11 rack go through all these preset settings all 15 of them and listen to the differences and then emulate the tones you need for the 11 rack and save your settings you can also do the same thing with uh, say your chorus you can of course save your settings and recall them as you need and you can do it for each of your effects and another thing I'll just mention real quick is if you have a lot of presets saved and you don't really know which one you want to use you can have Pro Tools automatically scroll through your effects for you uh, hands free which is kinda of what we did in another video when we were scrolling through the rigs which you would click here which brings up this window and you can click increment rigs every however many seconds change it to something like three to five or something like that and as soon as you check this box it'll automatically increment your settings all by itself so you can do that same thing with each of your effects you click this little button right here which looks like two windows you see we only have two settings right now and we could go to increment every one second or we choose something a little larger than that probably three to five at least and just click increment and while either we were playing or we were having the track run through the 11 rack it would switch back and forth in this case between these two and we could hear the difference of course if you had a lot of settings it would switch through all of them So there are some tips to get familiar with the new dynamic delay in the 11 rack expansion pack by comparing the presets of the air dynamic delay plugin and then emulating the settings on the 11 rack and of course saving your settings.